since you are PE uh, and gene therapy, uh, the congratulations on a lot of excitement in the company regarding the COVID-19 vaccine, and I see a lot of interest from uh, you know investors. So uh, maybe I can first ask a question regarding the regulatory pathway um, uh, for this uh, compound, as you mentioned, like you plan to get into the U.S. as soon as possible. But I was just wondering, kind of, uh, um, what what do you believe is the bar? Uh, for uh, um, obviously we have a differentiated product, but I was wondering uh, what is the, uh, for example, 90% pro protection or you know 80. So what is the bar? Do you believe that uh, needs to be made to go to the U.S. and the Europe market? And the second question is regarding: Can we just leverage what data we have from our Indian trial, or we also need to run a bigger kind of like global trial in order to uh, get it approved? Thank you. Great question, Sean. I think, uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Once again, uh, in our team, our external uh, scientific advisor, but they're all very excited. They believe, you know, we need to have this in the vaccine toolkit, this differentiated vaccine with the broad protection, multi-antigen protection, as well as, uh, you know, a traditional vaccine, which could, uh, based on the uh, vaccines such as, you know, polio and rabies have been there for, for many, many, many years. And you know, and uh, they they do they, these vaccines made of the inactivated virus are very safe um, for large populations. You know, from children to elderly and the people with uh, high risk or comorbidities. That's that's the reason we strongly believe you know this is needed in our toolkit in the U.S. We brought it. So your question is you know um, can we leverage and what are the um, regulations and what do you expect? Uh, again, um, uh, there are multiple things, right? I mean, even though uh, the vaccine development traditionally takes many, many years, everything is condensed. And uh, it, it's good, many, many players. Uh, this is a place for many winners, not a single winner. And uh, our, our common goal for any pharmaceutical company working on this uh, is to save lives, you know, rapidly, how we can develop a quality product with appropriate clinical trials driven by the data and bring this to EUA to save lives. That's the goal, right? So again, from efficacy perspective, in phase three, I mean, the bar, um, most of the, like EU and um, EMA and FDA, they look for a minimum 50% as, as you look for current flu vaccines. Uh, once again, depending on the vaccine type, you know, it can vary. In addition to that, it's very important also look into safety in the broad population, that's very important, and also look at immune response, like, such as neutralizing antibodies and cellular mediated response, T cell response, which is extremely important. So when we looked at the data generated with Bharat Biotech uh, on phase one and phase two, and uh, this is also available online, uh, you know, and uh, the data is very compelling and very strong. And uh, in both phase one and phase two, the phase two data uh, shows a broad immune response um, against multiple antigens, as I mentioned before, and beyond spike protein, they see the RBD domain as well as uh, nucleocapsid protein. They show neutralizing antibodies, very strong and very high conversion. And also they showed very significant T cell responses. And that's the, the cell mediated responses are very important, um, you know, uh, for long-term memory and, and uh, potential long-term durability of the vaccine. And the third one is storage condition is very important because some of the vaccines uh, which are coming today uh, are good. I mean, they're great protection, but uh, storage conditions are becoming difficult for supply chain, right? And if it's a two to eight storage and it's, it's a standard vaccine storage condition, it's easy to transport, easy to be deployed uh, for masses in any country. I think those are the three significant advantages. So our goal is to utilize the strong data they generated in India, both phase one, phase two, and currently they're completing large phase three clinical trial in 26,000 patients. They're very close to completing the recruitment. And our goal is to utilize as much data as possible and uh, discuss, we are currently formulating our regulatory and clinical strategy. Um, and then in the next few weeks, our goal is to meet with FDA and to lay out our plans and see how we can utilize the data and whatever we need to do in the U.S. appropriately, conduct those studies if necessary, and get it to EUA. That's our plan right now. And once again, you know, uh, I don't have answers, very specific answers for that. But again, I'm going to emphasize there's a large data set coming out, 
and we are going to utilize whatever we can. These are extraordinary circumstances, unprecedented times. This pandemic is 